There are several forms of viral hepatitis. The most common are hepatitis A, B, and C. Hepatitis A is somewhat sporadic and is generally related to contaminated food. And although it can cause liver failure, it's uncommon and does not cause chronic liver disease. The two most common viruses that will cause chronic inflammation of the liver are hepatitis B and hepatitis C. It is estimated that five million people in the United States have hepatitis C and approximately 1.8% of the population have hepatitis C. Hepatitis B is less common in the United States. The carrier rate for hepatitis B is probably one to 2% in this country, but worldwide it's the most important world health problem after malnutrition, starvation, and diarrheal disease. Well, you should be concerned about both, uh, but we know that there are certain risk factors that can predispose certain populations to be at risk of being a carrier of these viruses. The patients that are at the highest risk for hepatitis C are generally patients that have used drugs or had tattoos or been exposed to persons that have hepatitis C. Or they work in a healthcare environment where they can be exposed to needle sticks, especially before 1989. Or if you have had a blood transfusion or a transplantation or had been on dialysis before 1985, uh, you should be screened for these uh, viruses but it is so common in baby boomers. The Centers for Disease Control has now recommended that everybody born between the age of 1945 and 1965 be screened for hepatitis C. The people that are infected from both hepatitis B and C, about half of them don't know they have it. The problem with hepatitis C is that it generally remains asymptomatic for years and years. It has multiple manifestations and can be very slowly progressive or it can be very aggressive. We can customize the treatment depending on your phenotype and other medical problems that you may have. You generally start by obtaining liver enzymes and then you measure the viral load and then measure the hepatitis C genotype. Hepatitis C genotype really predicts the response to treatment and the type of treatment that you're going to employ. The standard of care is um, either triple therapy if you're at genotype one, three medications, or combination therapy if you're in type 2 or 3. We have the multidisciplinary approach in which we've got hepatologists, patients with hepatitis C are at risk for liver failure and for liver tumors. The surgeons are all in the same area. Um, we are involved with a number of clinical trials for hepatitis C and we do have cutting edge therapy available for treatment of that disease.